going on guys? How you doing? Ready to play a little bit of uh, Knights of the Old Republic as I promised earlier in today's stream. Let me just get it rolling here. Alright. What's going on guys? How you doing? Oh wait. I changed the aspect ratio of it. <laughs> Let me fix that. Let me fix that so you're not looking at like a little box. Well, it's a very old game, so you're probably going to be looking at an old box. Oh well, it is what it is. Surprised to be sure, yes. Dude, this game is, this game needs a remaster. Wow. All right. Gotta fix this. Just do it like this. This game's so old, I can't even show my, uh... <laughs> Jesus. We'll figure it out. By we, I mean me. change the aspect ratio and that way you guys can yeah maybe I'll just put it Frustrating. Every time I touch it, like every time I touch the other screen, it uh, hmm, hmm, no difference. See if I can trick it and enlarge. Oh, how strange. It just shows up on the corner of the screen no matter what. That's really weird. Doesn't make sense. This was the game. Got up so early to play this each day back then. Yeah. Well, I mean... We do this. If we just make this like huge, I think that could work. Let's try. It's better. Well, should we just play like this? <laughs> it's like... Hmm. 
I'm almost at 2.5 mil. Yeah, almost. It's been pretty slow recently. With everything going on with Star Wars. Or everything not going on, I should say. But that's usually how it is in the summer months. Right, let's try this again. see anyone that looks like me. He kind of looks like Kanan. What the hell is that? Dolph Lundgren? I think we're gonna go with Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> uh, no. I would. Finally, we begin. Can you interview Jake Lloyd? Uh, if Jake Lloyd wants to come on the channel, yeah. It'd be great. This game is so buggy, man. Holy crap. You guys should see what it looks like on my screens right now. Look what it did now! What the hell is this? It like... It's just un unplayable at this point. Like, it, it just does not work for any freaking computer or anything. Maybe I just have the wrong settings on or something, but it just it's so unfortunate. If you're using Streamlabs or OBS, switch the output for your stream to the game.exe or full screen application, it should prioritize the resolution. Okay, that's what I did before, but I'll try that. Let's do that. I know you won't respond because it isn't a super chat, but I love your content. Nah, man, I read both. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I'm Tras Volgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite ships. Now hurry up, we have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Bastil is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really, but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I've heard all about your reputation. Elite combat training tops in your class. It's no wonder you were handpicked for this mission. <laughs> the music the is so loud. Work with your kind of potential in 20 years. But all that potential doesn't mean a thing if you can't deliver when it counts. We're soldiers. We're trained for combat. Bastil is going to need men and women like us at her side during this attack. It's almost like they were making sure for 2020 that, like, that copyright got to happen. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Dude, these graphics, bro. This is amazing. Oh, 
<laughs> Wait, where was my... Where was it again? Right here. I gotta put them on now. Uh, I would do that again. Let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success. So with this party is, we're gonna make this a own. series on the channel. Um, we're just gonna finish the whole game. In most areas, you can use the party selection screen to quickly switch party members in and out. I wish it was more full screen for you guys, but because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry. I You always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by left-clicking on their portrait in the lower left corner of the screen. This game was supposed to be have a fan remaster, but Disney canceled it. Left oh yeah, I saw that. Portrait now to switch I think it's because he was trying to raise money, wasn't he? Need to open the door. Or was it completely not for profit? Like, like raise money to obviously pay for it, but you can't do that, sadly. You have to pay for it all yourself, I think. It's like my movie. Oh, I wasn't listening. How do I... Uh, how do I switch again? You just got here? Nice. There we go. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. You can also use the movement keys. Yeah, well, that's what I'm doing. This is Cardinal Nasty. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. What up, man? What up, Profan? What's going on? How you doing? What up, homies? Glad to have you all in the chat. Let's move out. Let's move out. Wait, going back in. Never mind. I want to make it full screen for you guys. I don't like how it's uh, so crappy. I gotta change this. I gotta. I gotta do. Some, I gotta do some about this. Desktop full. Desktop small. What else we got going on here? Okay, so let's let's get PC game capture going. Capture specific window. Capture any full screen application. Let's just do that. Let's just see if that works. Hopefully. That's really annoying because it's like it's full screen on my end. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, let's try another thing. I want to make it look good for you guys. Capture specific. Capture foreground window with hotkey? No. Auto? Oh, there's an auto feature. Okay. Maybe it'll do it now. No, it didn't do it. That door is locked. Download widescreen mod. 
Okay. Yeah, we'll get it right. Don't worry. <laughs> capture any full screen. Let's do a capture specific window. Knights of the Old Republic. Oh, force scaling. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, okay. So let's do 1280 by 1020 here. And we'll go transform. We'll do fit to screen. Maybe it'll work now. Let's see. Well, you guys can see my mouse. Why does it, why does it, this game is so old that this doesn't work with... That's funny. Okay, well maybe we can try the same thing with, uh, desktop. Let's try that. Guys with Super Chat, tell them to use Flawless Widescreen app. Theory, it's okay, we can mostly see it anyways. Kotor's screen has always looked that in base game. I know, but I want it to look good, man. I want it to look good for you guys. You know? I don't like it when... Yeah, see, like... I can fix it. Love when you guys tell me, like, uh, if it, what to do and stuff, because it helps right now. Well, it's the best I can do for now. <laughs> These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! Left click in the last sector. Power! Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Left click to select an enemy once to enter combat mode. This will lock the camera on your selected target. Left clicking the target again causes your character to perform the default action and attack each round. Same spot. Oh, wait, what the hell? Sure.
When did this game come out again? I think it was like... 11. We gotta do something with those parts. Yeah. Two thousand three. I was uh twelve. Wait. Uh no, I would have been thirteen, depending on. Yeah, three. I was thirteen. Got a feeling that won't be our last battle with the Sith. Good thing we have med packs to heal our wounds. It might be a good idea to use one now before our next battle. Oh, your lightsaber. We have to get to the bridge. We have to get to the bridge. I gotta get parts. We have to get to the bridge. To him. We have to get to the bridge. Universally adaptable parts designed for characters using the repair skill of, on machines. Okay, so we gotta use these. I guess I could give it to him. Or he has it too. Okay. So. Sure. You feel old in this chat? No. Don't we all? Uh. It's a dark Jedi! This fight is too much for us! We better stay back! All we do is get in the way! Uh. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. I'm gonna save my grenade. You did. Gonna throw this grenade. <laughs> ah! 
Culture one or culture two, which do you prefer? Blake! Bastel is not here. I used to do that remember. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastel alive. I remember alive. Knights of the Old the Republic one, one more than two. There's nothing stopping them from two. blasting the Endar really spire into galactic dust. Probably didn't play it enough. Maybe I did. I. Whatever. I just remember one vividly. I remember becoming a Jedi and. Uh Let's do an auto level up for now. Where is it? Well New feats, you must add feet. Oh. I, I don't under wait. Oh, here we go. Okay, got it. So, these are the only ones I could do. Blaster pistol. Alright. Alright, let's get out of here. Even though this game is so old, it just it seriously does look really nice. I don't know. I don't maybe it's just some I'm fiending for an old Republic game or something, possibly. There's something behind here. Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold them off. You get to the escape pods. Go! What up, Queen Obi? Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilisk escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pods. Let's go. What's the next Star Wars comic series that you plan on going through on your channel? There's one coming in a couple days, man. Yeah, it's the continuing Vader comic. I would like to suggest the Ninja Wars series keep up the amazing work, Papa Theory. Thanks, buddy. What up, Kataki? I wish the game got a remaster and I wish I got to meet you in person, man. Keep up the good work. Maybe we will meet one day. You never know, my young apprentice. Hey guys, I can't move. Why? What should I do wrong? F's in the chat for Trask, Ogo. 
I love this game and I love your videos. Thanks for the awesome content over the years. Hey, thanks, Spiteful Games. Easy, my favorite Star Wars YouTuber. Have fun. Thanks. Are you done uploading the DVD extras for episodes 1, 2, and 3? Nah, I'm not done. I'm not done. You might, might want to level up melee attributes instead of blasters. Okay, okay we'll do. It's not paused. You have to save the game, then reopen it. Or is that like a... Sink. Such a weird glitch. Thanks, guys. You came in clutch. Yeah, man. This game needs needs a rework for sure. For sure. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You could reprogram the damaged assault droid to help you, if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. You had to turn V-Sync on the other day when you started playing it on your new PC to stop that after battle freeze. What a weird glitch, hey? What a strange glitch. Repair parts, activate droid shields. Um, damn it. Whatever. Damn it. Players can slice into computers to try and override or pre-program existing commands. Slicing a computer requires computer spikes. Okay. Nice. There we go. Success. Power conduit overload switching to security camera. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Unlimited power. Probably didn't need to do that now that I took them out, but it's okay. It's 
one more. You've made it just in time. There's only one active escape pod left. Come on, we can hide out on the planet below. I'm a soldier with Republic, like you. We're the last two crew members left in the Endar Spire. Basila's escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on, there'll be time for questions later. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, let's go. Skedaddle. What in the world? What the hell? What is that? This game's so buggy. Please just remaster this game, Lucasfilm. Please. You know how many people would buy this? So many. Oh man. Spiteful Games, what's up? What's up, Randy? Loki don't want Kotor movie and diminish the game. Do you think it would? One story is Good fun, but two's has a darker atmosphere. And sent it's you into a two-hour session on YouTube looking into the philosophy of Kreia. Still keeps me up. One Enjoy the Kreia scares the crap out of me. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? A strange dream, like a vision. Right, I'm I'm Ivan Drago, by the way. <laughs> Surprise. You took a serious blow to the head. I'm probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. Try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, I think the music is so loud in this game, it just overpowers the, uh, dialogue. Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I've been in worse spots. I saw on your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. But it should come in handy while we're stranded on a foreign world. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smacked your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan. You guys seen Bastila? Sith Master. Bastila is the key to the whole Republic war effort. The or Sith must have found out that she was on the Endor Spire and set an ambush for us in this system. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed out here in Terrace. For the sake of the Republic war effort, we have to try and find her. Sure. Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Basila's power can influence entire armies. Through the Force, Basila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Often that's all it takes to tip the balance in a battle. Of course there are limits to what she can do. From what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration and focus to maintain her battle meditation. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast she never had a chance to use her battle meditation. Like us, she barely got out alive. Basil's going to need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Force, and the Sith have already killed more than their share of Jedi in this war. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us, and if we're careful, we can move about the planet without attracting notice. 
a luxury Bastila won't have. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for her. They know how important she is to the war effort. The whole planet is under quarantine. No ships can land or take off. So if Bastila's gonna escape Terrace, she's gonna need our help. And we'll probably need hers. You mean, besides a chance to get off this planet before the Sith find you, do you, do you have any idea what the Sith do to prisoners of war? Good. We're gonna need to work together if we're gonna survive. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple of skate pods crashing down into the Undercity. It's probably a good place to start. But the Undercity's a dangerous place. We don't want to go there unprepared, and it won't do Basil any good if we go and get ourselves killed. I'll tell you whatever I can, though I'm, I don't know how much help it'll be. Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malak became the new Dark Lord. It's obvious that Malak's a ruthless tyrant who'll crush anyone who stands in his way, just like Revan was. Experience has shown that the Sith won't stop until the Republic lies in ruins. Malak and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a monster. I think I can fix the aspect ratio. I was thinking about it just a second ago. We're gonna try some. We're gonna try a little some some. No. Oh uh, no. Damn it. Mm. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Maybe this will work. Just stretch it. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, it looks better. Okay. I'm on to something here. Looks like we might get it uh, widescreen after all. What was that thing you guys told me to get? Widescreen mode or, so or something? Something like that. See. I remember I tried to download Revan's robe. Is it? Is it hold up. Yeah! Good enough. I'm not going to mess anymore with it. Malak and Revan were once both part of the Jedi Order. W's in they the chat. They were young and headstrong, and against the wishes of the Council, they went to battle the Mandalorians on the Outer Rim. Something happened out there. Something corrupted them and drew them over to the dark side. Something rotten inside them all along. I don't know. They formed an army of ex Republic soldiers and Jedi who had fallen to the dark side, with Revan at their head, until Revan was killed by Basila's Jedi strike team. But even that didn't slow the Sith down. Malak just stepped in and assumed Revan's role. He took control of the Sith Armada and resumed the bloody conquest of the Outer Worlds. Sounds like Malik and the Sith have the right idea. <laughs> the sooner we start looking for Basso, the sooner we find her. Let's go. Nah, well, I love hearing this dialogue. I, I, I love it. How much help it'll be. Full of source material. It's great. What do you know about Malik and the Sith? What can you tell me about this planet we're on? I'd like to know more about you, Karth. Come on, I want to scout this planet. Daris I love this. was once a magnificent planet-wide metropolis of towering skyscrapers. That was a long time ago. The upper city where the rich citizens live is is still pretty safe. If it wasn't for the Sith occupation and the planet-wide quarantine, it might not even be a bad place to live. But farther down, things have degenerated. The, the lower city is nothing but a slum overrun by swoop bike gangs, waging a never-ending war for control. And the undercity is, well, it's even worse. The lowest level of Terrace is a wasteland overrun by rat ghouls, mindless, diseased mutants that attack on sight. I've already entered all this info into your data pad, Jerry. It's basically Gotham. Everything I know about Malik is pretty much common knowledge. He escaped the trap that killed Darth Revan, his Sith Master. With Revan's death, Malik became the new Dark Lord. Oh, Malik and his Sith don't respect anything except raw, brutal power. 
It's hard to imagine how someone who used to be a Jedi could become such a... The Republic hasn't been able to stop them so far, even with their support of the Jedi Council. I think Bastila may be the galaxy's last hope. It's a good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. We can probably get some equipment and supplies here in the upper city. Just remember to keep a low profile. I've heard some grim stories about the Dark Jedi interrogation techniques. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. But I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. I mean, after all, they're, they're looking for Basila, not a couple of grunts like us. All right, soldier, let's move out. Oh, this is on Android? That's cool, I didn't know that. But KOTOR 2 isn't? Whenever you go to a new planet, create a separate save slot. I'd hate to see you lose progress to some bug. I keep at least three save slots for a character at all times. That makes sense. What is your bidding, my mask? How did you manage to fix the widescreen? Well done. I, it's so weird, I just like stretched it a bit. I could stretch it a little bit more, should I? And make it completely full screen? I bet that little black bar is triggering some people's OCD. It's triggering mine. I guess. Right, you alien scum. Everybody, get up against the wall. This is a raid. Thanks, Danny. Thanks, Simeus. Make sure you get Darth Revan's robes. with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you, get up against the wall before I lose my oh, temper again. That'd be great, What's Danny. This? Humans hiding out with aliens. They're Republic fugitives. Attack! I'll see you there, man. Definitely gonna be a premiere for Vader episode two in the year 2039. Oh. Danny, look, they won't be bothering us again for a while. I'm going to... <coughs> I'm going to save. And I feel like the music volume is too loud. The voiceover volume needs to be higher. Sound effects, movie volume. What does that change the volume of the movie audio track? What does that mean? Okay, maybe that's a little better. No! Dude, it froze again. What a glitch. Can someone please remaster this? Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> 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 right, whatever. Tong hate one, Gigi, Jung Blumpa. Nita poe tikitu. Dolpa da bongwaleo gondona chuchut. Kachi chuchut. Ita dundo. Larum. Yumalita kuto dun. Runda di hotonga kun hunga. You look like someone who might need to purchase one of these new energy shields. They're the latest thing, you know. Very high tech. No. I don't want to buy one. And I can. I've heard rumors of the Kagura. It's too small print. Dolpa da bongwaleo gandona chuchut. 
Kachi chui ita. I never saw anything like them around here, but not until the Sith game, where they discovered the technologies and yes. The shields are too rare and too expensive to hand out to an entire army. But a shielded strike team can take out a whole battalion of soldiers armed with con the conventional blasters. It gave the Sith a huge edge in the early battles, but it wasn't long before the Republic was able to copy the technology and come up with energy shields of their own. Now both sides are scrambling to come up with new weapons to slice right through the shields, but until they do, you're going to see melee combat coming back to the forefront of this war. Achuta. 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 How rude. Go to the upper city. Oh, this is so exciting! Gotta save every time. Look at this man. Beautiful. Taurus used to be a nice place before the Sith showed up and started bossing us around. Look at these Sith troopers, man. Out of our way, citizen. We're on official Sith business. Just stand aside if you know what's good for you. It's like what Anakin said. Jedi business, go back to your drinks. best Star Wars game ever made, without question. Have you played this before? I have, when I was, what did we discuss? Was, it, was I 13? I think I was, no. Yeah, I was 13. My fave game ever theory, figured I'd support my fave YouTuber also. Would you say Rev and Black series is worth it? Um. I mean, it's cool, but it's, for 250 US dollars, it's, it's, that's a lot, man. It is cool. It is cool. If you're a collector, yeah. I'd say it's... It's, pretty, it's kind of, like, a little overpriced, I think. But... Okay, if it had smooth swing, I'd say it's well worth 250 but that's kind of expensive, I guess, so... Something seems to be bothering Karth. Maybe you should speak to him about it. Speak to Karth. Yes, what's on your mind? What's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than I should have heard. I missed an encounter? I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals can unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop it. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... It doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action. Keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later. All right. Oh, I'm in the wrong business. Davik's got a piece of everyone's action. I should have been a crime lord too. <laughs> If the Sith cared anything about us, they'd stop that gang war in the lower city. I feel like I'm too high up.
What do you think of the idea of Disney making an Old Republic trilogy? They better have a goddamn plan before they start it, that's for sure. Gavik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but we can just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. Hmm. Time to die. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord, honey. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. <laughs> and a roller Chris. Maybe I can you help. already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Davik, there's nothing else you can do. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. Oh, hey. Uh, I could just go give him the credits. No! Where'd he go? He went upstairs, didn't he? Everything else is active. It's just like blaster stuff. Yeah, I'm just gonna save it. Well, do I have to do this? Oh, melee weapons, there we go. Nice. Best Star Wars game of all time. You know, I don't remember all that much from playing this game. I just remember putting a lot of hours into it and then... And I don't remember anything after that. Was it like you have to pay like a subscription every month or something to play online or something like that? Or was that Star Wars Galaxies? I think that was Galaxies, bro. I think that's what it was. Yes, what's on your mind? I guess I did say you could ask me quick. Oh, well, if it's an interrogation you wanted, why didn't you say so? No, I was just joking, though you do seem to be full of questions. It's rather... Let me ask you something first, though. I've been going through the battle aboard the Endar Spire over and over in my head since we crashed. Some things just don't add up for me. Maybe you could tell me what happened, from your perspective. 
True. Basta is as powerful as I say. She's the one who defeated Darth Revan, after all. Mm. I guess that no Jedi ability, no matter how powerful, makes up for being completely surprised and outmatched. We didn't choose that battle anyway. It got forced on us. Hell, I'm, I'm, I'm just as surprised that any of us are alive to talk about it. Come to think of it, it's more than a little surprising that you happen to be here, isn't it? I mean, just what is your position with the Republic fleet? I don't know. Unless you consider that you were a last-minute addition to the crew roster and you just happened to be one of the survivors. You were the only one. Not to mention that Bastila's party was the one who requested your transfer. The Jedi requested numerous things when they came on board, but hell, they practically took over the ship, as far as I could tell. Considering your connection to Bastila and the Jedi, whether you know it or not, your presence here seems a little convenient. I'm probably wrong, and this is probably nothing. I learned a long time ago not to take things at face value, however, and I hate surprises. I mean, I have to expect the unexpected, just to be safe. It has nothing to do with you personally. I don't trust anyone for that purposes. And no, I'm not gonna discuss them, so can we just keep our mind on more important things? All right, all right. You're pretty damn tenacious. We'll talk about it, but later. Jeez, this guy's annoying. This guy's annoying, man. KOTOR is a single player game. Yeah, so it must have been Galaxies. Or maybe that was another game. I just remember my parents couldn't, uh, or they didn't want to afford it, the, like, monthly subscription to some, there was some Star Wars game that was, like, a monthly thing, and, uh, they were like, what? <laughs> I guess, I don't think, I guess it wasn't this one, it was something else. This one I do remember becoming a Jedi. I remember it vividly. It was like, I was just becoming a Jedi. I was just meditating to become a Jedi or something like that. And then it was dinner time and I had to go and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> I don't know if I went back to the game or the computer died or something. I don't know. This elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols. So unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. <sighs> okay. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. Now just move along. Unless you have the proper authorization. Damn it. Can we talk about how underrated Karth's voice actor is? Damn good. Listen he is damn me, good. People. He's not just reading lines. There is a terrible scourge sweeping our planet. Heed my warning before it is too late. Friends and fellow humans, I bring you a warning. A warning of a great plague spreading across our planet. Please, listen to me. Are you in 2020? I am speaking of the hideous looking aliens who walk the world of Taurus. The Wookiees and Ithorians and Rodians and Bith, all of them. Listen, friend, for these are dark times. That is why I, Gorton Kodu, have formed the Anti Alien League. The time has come for action. We cannot sit idly by while aliens blight our glorious planet. This guy's a racist. You are like all the rest. You will not see the truth. On the day of reckoning, you will suffer with the rest of the alien lovers. Come on, we should keep moving. Cook or no, people like him can make trouble for us. It pains me to see that an alien lover such as yourself is still allowed to walk free when the day of reckoning comes. You are like all. Come on. Nah, I want to fight him. Pains me to when the day. You are. Come on. Damn it. The evil walks among us. 
The enemy is here! We must... Chit chit, Watto. King Kun Shi Kaikuchin Awana Wamata Nishi La Chorga King Kun Palamuna Reji Ching Pala Niska Mule Dun Rata Tigan Podranko Dusarcha Doma Wana Kondatama With Tim and Bon Rang Thong Muli Ra on Shanturing Um Ni Patoga Wanga Chonzi Te Ika Krotu Hakujije Watu Yama Kama Wuna Henak Neck You know how to talk my language. China pala mule, tonki ba non tontek, tuni cha chon kun ne mule brabast. Tangabun shan om nong. De wanawanga. Monsieur Indian. Tangabuk sha um nak. Nah. It's youngling, run. You ever seen a swoop bike? I've seen them at the races sometimes. They go fast. Uh, I think this was like three bucks on Steam. Karth's voice is in Mass Effect, is it? Uh, where the hell am I going? What am I, what, what the hell is my objective here? What am I doing? Oh. <sighs> in the lower regions have hit a snag. The Sith Guard at the elevator down to the lower city won't let you pass with a Sith uniform or Prothera. Okay, so we gotta get the papers then. Where shall we get these papier? Cool, you're playing this game and streaming it. Best Star Wars YouTuber ever. What a cool guy. This game is so good and it's Star Wars. This game's a classic. I wish I had played the whole thing through when I was a kid, but we can rectify that. I didn't have my own computer until I was... Just move along. There's nothing to see here. Where did you hide those Sith uniforms? Did you sell them to the Terizian underground? Start talking. I want answers. He offered to. He intruded them. And Razi bought. And he behind all of the earth. And now for the truth, oh, yeah. I think I had a laptop when I was, uh, 13? Big clunky Toshiba laptop. Was good times. What's going on in there? But I don't think it was good enough to run this game. Maybe it was. I don't know. What's going on in there? Uniforms. You're a little too curious for your own good, sir. I know all about Sith interrogations. I'm getting sick of your lies, you alien scum. We've got your ugly mug and a security tape from the base. Start talking before I splatter your slimy brains all over this room. Uh-oh. I think the command is losing his temper. I'm glad I'm out of here. It took me an hour to clean the bloodstains from my uniform after the last interrogation. Just stay out of this if you know what's good for you. Maybe I can what kill him. Did I hear you right? And take his clothes. Let us kill him? How can you stop us? Time to teach the civilian the penalty for defying the Sith. Yep. Time to die. Nice. 
Nice. Thank you, human. The Sith would have killed me. Of that I am certain. I don't know who you are, but it's clear you are no friend of the Sith. Among my people, there is a saying, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Like you, I hate the Sith. That is why I stole the Sith uniforms for the hit. Lower say there are some who do not know what conquerors. Swoop gangs like the hidden becks are gathering resources to one day strike against the Sith oppressors. Speak with Gadon Thek in the lower city. Nice, dude. Let's take these suits, man. Yes, Sith armor. Okay, let's equip that, like, immediately. Yup. Yup. Two fiber blades. Hell yeah. No, I did. I did go far in this game. I remember. Or no, wait, was that? No, it was this game. Cause I remember having two. I remember having two sabers, one in each hand. Dual wielding sabers. Hmm. Interesting. All right, we gotta go down to the lower levels and talk to that dude. Oh, I look sick! Check it out! Okay, dude, my guy, you need- Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. My guy needs, uh... Uh-huh. My guy needs to dress appropriately here. Damn. Well, I guess we what? can just say I'm escorting him or something. Dude, he looks so sick. Look at that. Let's go to, um... Go back up, and then let's go to the lower levels. Thanks, Alex. He plays Caden Alenko. Yo, fix your cam. You got this little black corner. I know, it's... it's Okay, I just... You must be new to the stream, because it was such... A pain in the ass... To fix, and I just don't want to jinx it anymore. Uh, okay, hold up. I'm just stretching it. That's all I'm doing. It's not even just moving. It's like stretching the whole image. Nice. Okay. At least now we know how to do it, you know? It's so strange that, like, you, 
Yeah, you gotta like... <laughs> Whatever. Kamal, thanks. Thanks for becoming a new member. Upper City South. Where was that guy? Talking about my camera, lower left, oh, put it in the lower left corner, is that what you want? Oh, just because of the, the boom arm? There we go. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, at least now it's all fixed, so. Thanks, Rage. Okay, medical facility. We don't need to go there. I think it was like somewhere here and then to the right. That wasn't it. Ah, it was here. No, it wasn't here. What the hell? Let's go to the cantina. God damn it. Then you shouldn't be in full uniform. If you're off duty, go change your outfit. If not, get back to your patrol room. I'm gonna fight you. Hey, what do you think you're doing? You can't go into the Good. Get back to your patrol. God damn it. Can you say happy birthday to Ziham? Happy birthday, Ziham. Have a great one, man. I hope all your wishes come true this year. Do you guys remember guidebooks? Like before the internet had forums and like all the the codes and stuff like that. I used to buy guidebooks. I used to collect them. Particularly for uh, Ocarina of Time. There's this one really rare one I had. Will I play KOTOR 2? Yeah, we can do that after we finish this. Ryan, long time lurker. Love catching this game on your stream. Keep up the content. Stay strong through 2020. You make the daily grind a bit easier. Much love. Thank you, Ryan. Say hello from Brazil. Hello from Brazil. <laughs> Thanks, Pedro. Hello from Canada to Brazil. Yo, Ryan, what's your favorite part about this game? I don't really remember all that much. Ooh, hey, look at this! It's the ship! Oh no! I'm so scared! <laughs> Careful, don't do anything stupid. We don't have no trouble with the Sith. Oh yeah, you're right. Sorry about this, Shithy. <laughs> well, fellas, let's go. Shithy? That's epic. You must pay for your crimes. Now you will pay. Now you will pay. Damn it! Get out of my way, merchants. What are you looking for? I will answer any questions. Uh, I'm looking for the door that leads to the lower levels. I can't remember where it was. It was like somewhere here or something. 
Oh, here it is. There we go. Yeah, we did it. Cool. What up, Danilo? Thanks, man. Are you planning on doing a full playthrough? Love from India, man. Oh, that's awesome. What time is it over there right now? Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a full playthrough, so this is gonna be a series, so we're gonna do... I don't know. How many do you think we'll have to do? What the? Going down, baby. I love how he, I love how he just runs up to them and shoots them. <laughs> Instead of just like doing it from far away, which is bad. <laughs> Should we order pizza? Dude, dude, the game is ridiculously cheap right now. It's three bucks or something. Not as far, but from SoCal. Love your stuff, man. Hey, cool, man. Make a few hours away. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Ecom. Once again, man. Just crown, Tito. God damn it. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait. He won't let me in, I didn't think. Sorry, but your kind aren't welcome in. Yeah, you do that. I'm gonna change my, uh, my attire here. I want to go to the cantina before we continue this. <laughs> we get my groove on a little bit. Okay. Go away. Cheese can eat you. Kimba muli rap on a G. Kimba no ku mixa kabom. Kakinja Three. What the hell? One. Two. Uh, let's, let's do it. Three. No! Why does he stand so close? All the time? Oh, I died. Oh shit! I didn't save. Uh, <laughs> oh 
no. Oh wait, autosave? Yeah. Autosave. Thank god it autosaved. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna save too. That dude, that would have been that would have been that would have been an F. That would have been a huge F. Oh. Oh. Oh man. Karadumpa kunpa yiyam idiota. You did warn me, Javier. You did warn me. I know. Kipuna. Karadumpa kunpa yiyam okapata. Of the three new films, which one would you choose to remake yourself? Oh, episode 8. Actually, no, you know what? Let's do this. Why does he go so close? Why? You asked for this! What? Damn it, dude. Man, good thing it did that autosave. We would have been effed. Carl's voice actor is also Scorch from Star Wars Republic Commando. I also have this entire game memorized. Played it one too many times. Oh no, it freaking... Oh wait, no, never mind. Where's the enemy? What, right there? Thanks for the soup, Colin. Gonzo, checking in from Afghanistan. Keep up the phenomenal work, brother. Bro! All around the world tonight. We international. I think, I think, like, I know this is, this might be such a weird thing to say considering I was only, I was born in the 90s, but it's just so cool how technology literally brings us all together. Love it. Like, literally everyone's all over the world and we're just nerding out. Playing some KOTOR. I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna back in here and not start a fight. Can we just skip through all this? Go. <laughs> Smart. Yeah, alright, whatever. Wait, I got another question. Wait, uh... New member, Roblo. Rob Slack, thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. Oh, hello, Zach. <laughs> Uh, so Davik pays him to keep his eyes open. You do some bounties. Don't 
You shouldn't bother with them when they crash the Black Volker gang got their first in the mouth. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. you to leave me alone. So give me some space, bug eye. Your breath smells like bantha poodoo. <laughs> Who you call a little girl, Chuba face? Just a sec, boys. Sawbar, a little help here? I need you to rip the legs off some insects. <laughs> Quit complaining. You can finish eating later. Besides, you need the exercise, so get over here. You got a problem with me? Then you got a problem with Big Z. So unless you want to take on my furry friend, I suggest you greenies hop on out of here. Yeah, you don't mess with Wookiees, man. They'll rip your arms off. Hey, relax, Big Z. No need to be rude. Sorry about that. Say, I don't recognize you, and I know pretty much everyone in the lower city. You must be new down here. I guess that makes me and Big Z your official welcoming committee. It's not that strange. Most aliens can speak basic. They just prefer to use their own I love language. how they call it basic. But I grew up here on Terra, so I just sort of got used to speaking the native tongue. You showed a lot of guts dealing with those Valkyrs, kid. You got a name? My name's Mission Veo, and this big Wookiee is my best friend Zalbar. I'd offer to give you a tour, but the streets down here aren't safe. But if there's anything else you need... We just kind of fell in together. It ain't easy on your own here in the lower city. Everyone's always looking to push you around. So we noticed. Still, you seem like an odd pair. When I met up with Zalbar, it seemed like a pretty good match. I knew we could look out for each other. With my street smarts and his muscle, we make a great team. Well, you came to the right person. If you want info on Lower Terrace, I'm the one to talk to. Davik, the Lower City Gangs. I even got the scoop on that bounty hunter, Kalo Nord. Davik's part of the Intergalactic Crime Syndicate, but I guess everyone knows that. But I hear he's got a new ship for his smuggling operations, the Ebon Hawk. I don't know much about space travel, but I hear that ship's fast enough to break the Sith blockade. Of course, this is all just secondhand rumor. Where would he keep it, do you know? If Davik does have a ship, he's got it locked up in his estate. Nobody gets in there, except the people working for Davik and the Exchange. Hmm. 
Talonor is one of the most famous bounty hunters in the galaxy. He's killed more people than the Iridian Plague. I've seen him kill people just for trying to talk to him. He hangs around Zack's bounty office, but I don't think he's looking for work there. All the postings there are small time, way beneath the bounty hunter of his caliber. I figure Kalos has been hired by Davit to do a special job for the exchange. I'd wager a thousand credits that as soon as the quarantine ends, he'll be getting off this rock. There's only two gangs worth worrying about here in the lower city. The Black Volkers and the Hidden Becks. Sometimes Zalbar and I hang out at the Beck base. The Becks are led by Gadden Beck. He's a good guy. Lost his sight in a swoop bike accident a few years ago, but even blind, he's a great leader. Not like that traitor Brezhik. Before he took over the Volkers, he was a Hidden Beck. Gadden considered that ungrateful space slug his adopted son. When Gadden went blind, everyone figured he'd step down and appoint Brezhik in his place. But Gadden figured Brezhik wasn't ready yet. He wanted him to wait a few years. But Brezhik was too impatient. He left to join the Volkers, and ever since, he's been waging a war to wipe Gadden and his Bex from the face of Terrace. This gang war in the Lower City is totally the Volkers' fault. They're the ones killing everything that moves out on the streets. It's like they've gone insane. You going? Yeah, this dive is pretty boring. No action around here. Come on, Big Z, let's go. <laughs> Can't you think about something besides your stomach for five minutes? Come on. We'll go see if there's anything good to eat at the Beck base. Well, I can come back to that later. Um, I want to go to... What was his face? Hey, you can't just walk in here. This is the hidden back base. How do I know you're not a Volker spy sent to kill Gadon Thek? A lot of people want to go inside and speak to Gadon. He's a hero of the common folk. But the days of the Hidden Beck's open door policy are gone. Between the Sith conquest and the Volker gang war, Gadon has more enemies than he used to. We're being careful about who we let in now. My loyalty's not for sale. Well, we do need all the help we can get. And you don't look like you're with the Vulcans or the Sith. Besides, it's not like you <laughs> can do anything Sith to armor. harm Gadden in the heart of his own base. Not with Zedra watching his back. Go in and speak to Gadden if you want. Just remember to be on your best behavior. The Hidden Becks are watching you. Hold it right there. Who are you? And what is your business with Gadden? Calm down, Zerdra. Nobody's going to try anything here in the middle of our own base. It would be a suicide mission. You're too trusting, Gadden. Brezhik and his Volkers want you dead. Anyone we don't know is a potential threat, and it's my job to make sure you're safe. Do you want us to start attacking strangers on sight, Zerdra? Like the Volkers do? I will never let it come to that. Now step aside and let them pass. As you wish. Bro, I'm thinking it might be time to, to order a pizza. Want, but I've got my eye on you. You try anything and you'll be vaporized before you can say Volker spy. It is Friday, so they're open late. Mm. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, the club! 
Oh no. Damn it. Forgive Zerdra. Ever since Brejic and the Vulkers began this war against us, she's been a little overzealous in her security duties. The problems with the Sith haven't helped things. Zerdra seems to forget that I know how to look after myself. Now, how can I help you? Huh? A foreign army invades Terrace, declares martial law, and locks down all travel to and from the planet? You damn well bet I have a problem with that. If the Sith ever moved in, the goddamn here, right I did. All the swoop gangs would unite against them. Can anyone tell me what movie that's from? Guerrilla tactics to pick them off. Their casualties would be enormous. Okay. Don't fool yourself. The Sith would never commit to that kind of operation. They'd they'd probably do something much more grand and deadly. You but suffer so far, penalty for two weapons with the skill for it. I don't think Nelson. That's probably why I suck. Stupid gang war. I tried to explain this to Brezhik, but he and his Vulcans won't listen. Just want to say thanks for making amazing content for us Star Wars fans. You make my job easier at work when listening to your stuff. Unloading trucks. Thanks, Havel. Ah, that makes me happy. Ariel Leon, thank you. Martin Hansen, looking forward to seeing what your choices lead to. And a big thank you from Denmark for the great content. Thanks, Martin. I love you guys, man. I really do. You know, never thought I'd be able to do this one day. And it's just... It's great. And so, I'm gonna constantly keep giving back and give you guys unlimited content. Really good content. Or at least, what I deem is good. Which, for the most part, I haven't had any complaints, really. The escape pods? You know, I heard the Sith have been asking around the upper city about them as well. But you don't look like you're with the Sith. They might be spies, Gadden. They might be working for the Sith. Calm down, Zerdra. If the Sith thought we knew anything useful, they'd have a battalion of troops kicking down our door. No, I think this offworlder has his own agenda. I suppose I could tell you what I know. It's not like it could do any harm to me or my gang. But it might cause problems for the Vulcas, and that's okay in my book. The Vulcas stripped those pots clean within hours after they landed. It's too bad we didn't get there first, considering what my spies reported the Vulcas found. A female Republic officer named Bastila survived the crash. That eyebrow we ring was, like, uh, <laughs> considered edgy, Vulcas I guess, so picky. <laughs> in 2003. Normally, the Vulcas would take a captured slave and sell them for a nice profit to Davik, or an off-world slaver. But a Republic officer is no ordinary catch. I still think Bastila is just a Republic officer. That could work to our advantage. Maybe she'll even figure out a way to escape from the Vulcan base on her own. She's too valuable to leave with the Vulcan scum at the base. Brezhik's probably got your Republic friend hidden away somewhere safe until the big swoop race. You'll never find her. I'm afraid your friend has become a pawn in Brezhik's game to take over the lower city. He's offered her up as the Vulcan's share of the prize in the annual swoop gang race. By putting up such a valuable prize, Brezhik hopes to win the loyalty of some of the smaller gangs. Their numbers will allow him to finally destroy me and my followers. So how do you propose we go about rescuing Bastila then? Well, we can't fight all the gangs. The only hope you have of rescuing Bastila is to somehow win the big season opener of the swoop race. I might be able to help you with this, if you'd be willing to help us. We both have something to gain here, and much to lose. The swoop race is for the lower city gangs only. I could sponsor you as a rider for the Hidden Vex this year. If you win the race, you'll win your friend's freedom. But first, you have <laughs> it's to do something like episode one. My mechanics have developed an accelerator for a swoop engine. 
A bike with the accelerator installed can beat any other swoop out there. But the Vulkers stole the prototype from us. They plan to use it to guarantee a victory in this year's swoop race. I need you to break into their base and steal it back. Getting into the Vulcan base won't be easy. The front doors are locked tight. But I know someone who might be able to get you in the back way. Mission Veo. Vale. Mission? Gaddon, you can't be serious. She's just a kid. How is she supposed to help them with this? Mission's explored every step of every back alley in the lower city. Plus, she knows the undercity sewers better than anyone. If anyone can get inside the Vulcan base, it's her. She and her Wookiee friend Zalbar are always looking to stir up a little excitement. They like to go exploring in the Undercity, despite the danger. Cool. Your best bet them. is to look for her in the Undercity. But you'll need some way past the Sith Guard post at the elevator. A simple disguise might have worked on the Upper City Guard, but the security down here is much tougher. You'll need the proper papers to get past him. Mm. Luckily, my gang ambushed one of the Sith patrols headed down to the Undercity. They never made it, and their security papers fell into my hands. Since we're working together now, I suppose I could give them to you in exchange for your uniforms. With the security papers, you won't need a disguise anyway. Hmm. Alright. Good choice. Thanks for the uniforms. You won't need them with these security papers anyway. Now... Is there anything else I can do for you? Um. No, well, I let's suggest just go you get hurry. it. The swoop race is coming up, and we want you to have time to practice let's before the race. Let's go get it. Items received, items lost. Alright, let's do this. You can speak to Gadden if you want, but I've got my eye on you. Alright. Why does it keep... Okay. Oh, gotta save. Um... Dude, just bought some t-shirts, and we always watch your videos. You are awesome, and put so much positivity to Star Wars. Hopefully COVID lets up, and we can see your full potential. Good luck on Knights of the Old Republic. Thank you, Danny. Yeah, well, COVID is the only thing that's... hindering my full potential, so to speak. I gotta change the, uh... But it, it's interesting. No, I wouldn't say, well... It's hindering the fan film, but COVID has confined me to the point where I'm just at home, so it really is pushing me to uh, explore other avenues, um, like CG stuff and different projects that I'm working on that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. I, I have, I've got a really good feeling. But we'll see. We'll see. Dude, did it just glitch again? No, okay, good. Alright, where are they? out right so oh, 
shit. How'd you like that? What the? Oh my god, she keeps missing. Some kind of Jedi waving their hand like that. Mind tricks don't work on me. Only money. Um, where'd they go? now okay level up what are we gonna do attributes the attributes of your characters apply bonuses penalties okay um what did you guys say strength sure let's do this skills Persuade. Ah, oh, what? Feats. Oh. Let's do it. Credits would be fine. You guys are behind with your payments. What do you, uh, you think just because you're in some gang, you don't have to give Davik his cut? Kava 
vai pra Multicama na Ronda de Rotonga com o Nongabi Onde com bez, ching, pala, mule, tung, king, ba, no, no, tec Tug, nin, cha, tu, kun, ne, mule, rabes Ah, so you want to play this the hard way <laughs> Okay Yeah, I think the first playthrough here we're going to do light side Tu, ne, pudu Rana no prata dunk no sercha itua penki. Wata na wa mamuli ra. Kenjun ju bashak no wa buli muli ra ji junitun turji chiwi ita do. Bola una dicek. Bala muri slimo wanga kun pisching. I knew you boys would see reason. Now get out of here. Too bad. I was looking forward to cracking some heads. Maybe next time, Candrus. I better get this over to Davik. I'll call you if anyone else gets behind on their payments. Dude, my guy's like almost dead. Those Valkers are dumber than it's a Duke chorus and granite slug. They actually think being in that pathetic little gang of theirs makes them important. Gadon keeps his hidden Bex in line, but Brezhik's getting dreams of grandeur. If Davik's smart, he'll slap that young punk back down. I'm someone you don't want to get on the bad side of. And I'm not one for small talk. I don't have time to stick around here anyway. Uh, Davik's got me eye. working on a special assignment. I can't see! Lower city apartments. Alright, let's try there. Where's the girl in the Wookiee? My dog's hair flying around everywhere. There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. That's the plan. This guy's such a G. They're in the Undercity. Okay. Dude, I don't have... Oh, wait, I do have health now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> nice! I like that. Leveled up. Leveled up. Okay, save before it glitches out again. It's kind of weird. I kind of like that it glitches out. It just reminds me of the shoddy games I used to play when I was a kid. <laughs> Dude, one shot kill, man. A powerful Sith you will be. so messed up. Yo, here are his remains. You wanna grab some remains? Alright, let's take him out. Let's take him out. Time to die. Feel the cold of my unrelenting steel blade. Cool. 
Oh. What is this? What, what does that say? Mine sighted. Press the pause button to continue. Uh, I heard your brother left for Tatooine to become a miner. Did he at least have hyperdrive? Leave hyperdrive behind to keep you company? If you're still practicing that with that blaster I gave you, remember what I taught you because you might need it. Terrace is like Alderaan. It can be dangerous there. Stay away from those swoop gangs and keep everything locked up in that old strong box. Nobody's gonna be busting into that thing up here from you, Uncle Louie. Well, uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> eh, I'll be alright. Well, I don't know, this strong box is the property of Elematic access not permitted to unauthorized users. I don't know what the hell the password is. Okay. Please enter the proper password responses to confirm identity. What is the name of your pet? Hyperdrive. Uh, who taught you a fi to fire a blaster? Uh, my brother. Where did your family come from originally? One or more of the passwords was incorrect. Damn it! I gotta read that stupid thing again. I don't think it was a brother. This is an electronic personal message sensor. This looks like it hasn't been used in a while. There's an unread message. Hey, Alum, how's life on Terrace? I heard your brother left for... Okay, it wasn't... Uh, it wasn't his brother. Uncle Louie. Hyperdrive. Uncle Alderon. Nice. Hundred credits. Republic mod armor. Ooh, I like. I like. Okay. Plus eight. Hmm. Okay, cool. Dr. Basil, Cobra Kai, never dies. Could break through this. I think if I do it enough times, it'll let. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What do we have here? Stop right there, or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes. Now, what are you doing here? Well, go explore somewhere else. There's nothing interesting for you here. This is your only warning. I gave you a chance to get out of here and leave me alone. Now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin. Oh man. Uh, okay. So... Kind of far away, kind of close, but whatever. I stunned myself with an idiot. No. I asked for another frick. Ready. 
Why didn't you throw one? Good thing I saved. Damn. Damn! No! I don't think I can beat her. She's too good. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Order pizza. Oh, dude, I'm fiending for some pizza right now. That'd be nice. She's impossible to kill. You asked for this. Oh, he's dead. All right, you know what, dude? I'm just gonna get out of here. See ya. Run away. No. Damn it, dude. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, what if I just keep, like, throwing grenades at her? And then running the other direction. Okay, I'm gonna run the other way now. remains we got. Energy shield, okay. Yes. Yes. We already picked this, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah! No, dude, what the hell? Fight to the death. Why did she not die? Ah! Oh wait, I have a shield. Never mind. Who cares? Ah! Yes, she's dead. I did it. It's epic. Her remains. Neural band. Wow, this is awesome. Okay. Oh, that's savage. Awesome. Okay, cool. Uh, adrenaline amplifier. Cool, cool, cool. Probably have a better... 5 to 14. Cool, man. Okay, we gotta save. We gotta save. Save, baby. Okay, nice. Job well done. Job well done. Even though we're both literally dead. <laughs> I could have started shield in the first place. Yeah, pretty much. Eh? What are you, Canadian? Oh shit. Uh wait, 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 wait. There, okay, go ahead. Time to rumble. Yeah, yeah, we know he's oh. dead. Oh. <laughs> nice. Mess him up. What? What the hell? Ready. Okay. Sure. Oh! <laughs> 
You asked for this. I'm dead? That quick? What was the point of the shield then? And a powerful attack. Power blast. Let's do it. Fire! Shoot! Shoot! What'd you- Shoot him! Shoot him! Yes! My guy, okay. Did, you, did it just freeze? Did it just freeze? No, okay. Yeah, I don't really care. Let's just don't do the lazy way. What? What is this? Gotta save, gotta save. Dude, my guys are like... Dead. Minor frag mine. Could die very, very easily right now. Supplies? Please give me a med kit. Please give me a med kit. Please give me a med kit. Yes! Med pack. Oh, we rolling, baby. Okay. How many more of these do I have? Six. Let's just walk into it, see what happens. Advanced med pack, nice. Frag grenade, adrenal strength. Right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay, let's boom, baby. All right, we are good to go. What's behind door number three? You asked for this! Here! Oh. Here! Oh. For me at full power. Oh man, we're rolling. We're on fire. Okay. Let's boogie. Let's boogie, baby. Okay, um... Did we already check this? Uh, uh, probably. No, we didn't. Wow. Cool. You're about to order some din din? What are you gonna eat? What's bothering this guy again? What is it? Yes, what's on your mind? I want to discuss something with you. You do? Well, fair enough. What do you want to discuss? <sighs> I know you wouldn't understand where I was coming from. Let me try this one. You got the skills of an elite commando, and you saved my butt more than once. Between that and your facility with languages, I'm lucky you're here. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to stop watching you or being wary. I'm just not built that way. Period. I don't know that yet. Like I said before, it's probably nothing, but I've been betrayed by people before, and I... Well, it won't happen again. That's all. Makes sense. I don't know that you'll betray me, but there are no guarantees. Not for you, not for me. You don't have to take it personally. Well, you can stop wondering. I'm not. Why is whether or not I trust you or anyone so damned important to you? Why, why do you even care? We don't have time for this, so can we please just drop it? <laughs> Jesus. Who cares? Who cares if he doesn't like you?
You guys said it was in the Undercity, right? I feel like I'm just going with circles. Literally am. Can I do more streams around this time? Yeah, I normally do on the gaming channel, but since we're playing this and uh, since so many of you love it, yeah, I'll keep it going. I love streaming at this time. Care, dude. I don't care what he has to say. Hold on there, civilian. Only those with unless you've got I do. Let me see. Uh, yeah, these look to be in order. Okay, you can go down if you want. Can't say I envy you though. The Undercity is crawling with mutants. Rack goals, they call them. If you see anything moving down there, shoot first and ask questions later. You guys ready to go? Ready to roll? Should we order a pizza? Hungry. Let's do a little save before uh, something goes wonky here. Upworlder! Anyone <laughs> using this elevator has to pay the toll. Yeah, this is our elevator. If you use it, you gotta give us something. I don't believe this planet. Even the beggars are trying to shake us down. Five credits! That's what it costs to use our elevator. Five credits! Run, my brother! Flee this one's wrath! Go on, you two. Get out of here! I'm sorry about that. Those two beggars give everyone in the village a bad name. We aren't all like that, you know. Most of us are good people. I'm sure you are, miss. It's just too bad your little welcoming committee is here to give people a bad first impression. My name is Shalina. You're from the Upworld, aren't you? I've... I've never seen it. I was born here in the Undercity. Is it as nice as they say up there? I've never been to the surface, but sometimes I think I can see it in my dreams. The sun, the sky, the stars. It all sounds so... so... so wonderful. Gendar, the leader of our village, Tells me I should spend more time trying to improve things down here, and less time dreaming about something I can never have. Maybe he's right. You probably think I'm a fool, having dreams of a place I've never even seen. But when I was little, Rukil used to tell me stories of what it was like up there. Hmm. Rukil's the oldest man in the village. The kids call him Rukil Wrinkleskin, but he's a kind man. He used to tell me the greatest stories when I was a little girl. I still like to listen to his tales about the Promised Land, even though I know they're just legends, but it helps to make the Undercity seem less... less dark somehow. I'm looking at pizzas right now on my phone. It's... it's just a story to make little children smile. Rukil believes in it, though. Sometimes I can almost believe it myself, but then I look around and see the ugly truth. I guess we have to make the best of what we have, though. If you really want to learn more about the Promised Land, you should speak to Rukil. He's wandering around somewhere on the south side of the village. He doesn't move too far. He's hard on his bones. 
He's over 100 years old. The children laugh at him, and people think he's crazy because of his stories about the Promised Land, but he's really just a kind old man. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, see you later. Hello again. Well, I got one question for you, actually. You... Um... He'll be somewhere in the village. I couldn't say... All right. He's wandering around somewhere on the south. The chi Oh. <laughs> she seems so offended. Oh, uh. Okay. Did you say mayo is amazing on pizza? I mean, I know ranch sauce is, but mayo? I don't know about this. Actually. I have put mayo on pizza, and it was good. What the? Greetings, Upworlder. We rarely see your kind here in the Undercity. Thanks, I Andrew. It's strange that so many of you have come down from the Thanks, surface John. recently. No offense, but I a can see for pizza. May the pineapple. Place. Why have you come into this dark and, and south be place? plentiful? Is there something you need of me or my village? I will help you however I can. I like that armor. Have a good day. Thanks, man. Angelica, did you delete a super chat? I don't know what it said. We are the outcasts, shunned from the surface for our crimes and banished here to the Undercity. We banded together to form this village that we might survive in this hostile environment. I am Gendar, leader of this village. As my father was, and as was his father before him. Many of us have been here for generations. Our ancestors cast down long ago. There is no return to the surface for us, or our descendants. No! Descendants. But somehow we managed to survive amidst the filth and roaming bands of deadly rat ghouls. Life down here can be difficult. It can break the spirit. Many in the village have become bitter and hopeless, especially those newly cast down. But life goes on, and we must try to make the best of what we have. And maybe someday we will find a better life. <laughs> Listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Rue Kill. <laughs> the oldest man in the village. He's a kind soul, but I'm afraid he's growing weary of this world. He dreams of escaping, of finding a better world. If you wish to speak to him, you can probably find him wandering about the village. As I said, a kind man, though he does cling to his illusions. Hey Angelica, what's that? What was that super chat that you deleted? I can't read it. Maybe you could email me or something, I guess. The Rakuls are monsters, hideous mutations who feast on the flesh of our villagers. Their diseased jaws can infect those they attack, transforming the victim into one of those abominations. Oh, we know like of no cure for the disease, and for the good of the village, we must banish any who become infected, lest they transform and turn on us. Where do you film your upcoming Vader episode? Um, don't know yet. The last one was in LA, but uh, the next one might not be. So, we'll see. Thanks for the soup, Andrew. As you wish, Upworlder. Should you have need of anything else, come speak to me. I represent the entire village, and I will do my best to help you however I can.
I look like Marcus from De Detroit Become a Human. Is that what you just said? You, you come from the world above. Is this the time of destiny then? Is this a portent of the salvation of my people? Or merely another false sign to miss? Are you the- Be careful. This one might be crazy enough to be dangerous. Speak to me, Upworlder. Tell me what fate you unleash upon us. Salvation or damn- Old oh, yes, perhaps I... Once, I was honored for my wisdom. But over time, the villagers fell away from the true path. Eventually, the- Alright, let's just- can we kill this guy? <laughs> no. No, no, not yet. I must be wary. Jesus. Please, a moment, Upworlder. I must know if you are the one I have been waiting for. My apprentice, please, Upworlder. Will you help an old man? Will you seek out my apprentice in the under- Are you an angel? Finding her may be difficult. Jesus. Then... Yeah, whatever. This game is boring. Nah, a big part of it is talking to people, I guess. And hey, you ain't from the village. You're from the upworld, ain't you? Yes, you've got credits, I bet. Watch yourself. There's something slimy about this guy. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. My name's Saigir. I run a little salvage shop here. You want to buy something from my store? I got some good deals. Yeah, okay. <laughs> hurry, Hendar! Hurry! I can hear it coming! He'll never make it. He's doomed. <sighs> I told him he was a fool to leave the village. He will make it. Run, Hindar, run! <laughs> Open the gate! Quickly! There isn't much time! Uh, I... I can't! The raccoons are too close! The mutants will kill him if you don't open the gate! And if I open the gate, they'll kill us all! No! You can't do this! It uh -oh. isn't fair! Please, make him open the gate! Hindar will die if he doesn't! I can't open the gate! Not while the rat ghouls are so near. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that, Smuggler's Mom. It's terrible to hear, man. I hope everything's gonna be okay and that it works out. And I'm glad you're at least here for a minute to escape and have some fun with us. That's never easy stuff to deal with. You'd risk your life for a stranger? <laughs> you're brave, Upworlder. It's like a demigorgon. Oh no, I didn't save. What? I just used my shield. Well, this is a lost cause. Oh, I killed him. Okay, cool. Sweet. Yes. Noise. Alright. Let's do a little savey savey action. Please, you have to help me. Nobody else is gonna help me. Even the Bex won't help me. But I can't just is. leave him there. He, he's my friend. You'll help me, won't you? It's Zalbar. He's in trouble. Big trouble. We have to help him. If we don't, they'll sell him into slavery. Me, me I love and how her name is Mission. Wandering around here in the Undercity. 
You know, looking for stuff we could find, just kind of exploring. It's great. We do it all the time. I guess with a Wookiee at your side, you've got to figure you can handle the odd Rack Ghoul attack. Only this time, they were waiting for us. Gamorrean slave hunters. We didn't even have a chance to run. Big Z threw himself at him and then roared for me to run. I, d I took off. I figured Zalbar would be right behind me. But there were too many of them. He couldn't get away. They're going to sell him to a slaver, I just know it. I don't know for sure, but those Gamorians like to hang out in the sewers. The stink reminds them of home, I guess. That's probably where they took Big Z. It's a deal. As soon as we get Big Z back, I'll show you a way into that Volker base. Different now, shields on. for different purposes. Melee and Blaster, the one you have equipped is for Blasters. Got it. Do you know where he's being kept? The Gamorians make their camps in the sewers. I bet that's where we'll find Zalbar. And that's where I'll show you the secret entrance into the Volker compound. Cool. She is now in our boarding party. Huh? Mm -hmm. Upgrade her. Nice. Ready. Wait. Sure. All right. Cool. Neato. These guys are just chilling around here. You there, civilian. This is a restricted area. What are you doing down here? Your face. Security papers. Oh, you're one of those trackers the commander sent down, right? They should have given you an armed escort. We've already lost one patrol. Plus, we've had several skirmishes with looters from those lower city swoop gangs. I'm telling you, we should just stay in the upper city where we're in control. Oh, is that why you're down here? Search and rescue? I didn't think they'd send anyone. They were in the southern section of the undercity when we lost contact. I would have gone to investigate, but my orders are to search for those crashed escape pods. Hey, sir, if it that's means cool. Leaving another patrol to die. I didn't have an Xbox when it came out. Uh, why don't you just give up the search? Hey. I'd never disobey my orders. I'm not a fan of court martials and executions. I was just talking, you know. Nothing anyone has to mention to the commander. Come on, patrol, let's get back to it. The sooner we get this search done, the sooner we can get out of this mutant infested hole. Move out. Oh, I see them. Oh man, there's too many of them. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Did nothing. Dude, throw it closer. Like, what are you... Stupid? Damn. Oh, wow. I actually made it. Wow, no way. Good for you. Good for you. Corpse? Uh. Oh, not good. <sighs> not good. pilot for the Republic, right? You've been all over the galaxy, I bet, right? So tell me, how would you rate Taurus compared to other worlds you've seen? To be honest, Mission, Terrace would rate pretty low. The prejudice, the rich spoiling themselves while the poor are crushed beneath them, it, it's not a pretty picture. Yeah, but that's only since the Sith occupation. Before that, well, I guess it wasn't all that different, really. Hmm. Maybe Taurus ain't as great as I thought, you know? 
Trust me, Mission, there are a lot of worlds better than Terrace. There, there are worse, too, but Terrace is no place for a kid to live on her own. Even a kid who's got a Wookiee to look out for. Hey, I ain't no kid. I look out for Zalbar as much as he looks out for me. Bixie's my friend, not my babysitter. Jeez, I come ask you a question, you give me a lecture. Don't you snap at me, Missy. You want a lecture? How's this? Only bratty little children fly off the handle because of a simple comment. I don't have to listen to you, Karth. You ain't my father, though you're sure old enough to be. So keep your lectures inside your withered hmm. old head, because I don't need them. And I sure as hell don't need this. Look, let's just drop it and get back to what we were doing. I don't like this Karth guy. He annoys me. Uh-oh. Time to die. Swift kill. Probably save again. Let's do it. Oh, damn. Did you miss? Dude, it froze again. Uh oh. Ready. Oh no, he's dead. What? Nice. Except he's almost dead. Let's go into the sewer, my young apprentice. Doesn't I go back up? Oh! I should have saved. Oh, I should have saved, dude. Damn it. Oh, she can't fight. Oh, crap. Yes. Ready? Oh. Yeah, I'm aware. Are you gonna fight? Let's go. Hello. What the hell? Dude, I actually won that? That's hard to believe. <laughs> have I played Republic Commando might be more exciting. Are you guys not having a fun time? I think this is a great game. What do you mean? Dude, I can't move him. No. Power Blast, Rapid Shots, Heavy Weapons, Specialized Melee Weapons. Yeah, nice. Let's do it. Cool. Okay. The game froze again. Oh, how annoying.
Ready. So weird. It's great save speed. Very quick. This game is heat. You got that right. Done. from those Gamorrean slavers. Don't worry, we can come back after we find Big Z. That energy shield leads to another section. I've got... Um, Kablooey. leads to another section of the sewer. I've got the codes to lower the Uh-oh. You asked for this! 
That guy's useless, man. Right. Ready. Oh. Oh. No. Good thing I saved. What? Probably heal myself. Oh, she's almost huh? dead. She needs help. Oops. I guess I stole yes. it all. Sorry. Sorry, bro. Why don't you play Star Wars The Old Play? I do on the gaming channel. So when I was playing that, people were like, why aren't you playing KOTOR? <laughs> I fluctuate, go back and forth. I'm gonna save and then we'll play again tomorrow night. I gotta go make videos for Cobra Kai Theory and I gotta make one for tomorrow too for Star Wars Theory. <sighs> this was fun. Wow, three hours? Okay, I went by really quick. Did not notice. Thanks so much for joining, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay and uh, you'll be here tomorrow uh, for part. Dose. I don't know how many parts we're going to have, but after we do this, we can go back, redo it, do the dark side, or we can go on to the Old Republic, which I've been doing on the gaming channel. So, um, yeah, it's fun. Lots of, lots of cool stuff. And I also want to play a run of um, Star Wars Racer, it was called. They, they don't call it Pod Racer, I think, because of like copyright reasons or something. Some weird legal thing but anyway star wars racer is star wars pod racer and uh someone remade it in unreal engine a while ago this was years ago i think and my computer wasn't strong enough to handle it but now it is so um i'd love to replay that i remember i was streaming it it was like so choppy people were like uh i can't see anything anyways um what was my first game console that i had as a kid i had a nes nintendo entertainment system yeah, but the main one I remember is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. That was the one that I was on most as a kid. Can't stay for long. One of my favorite games. <laughs> it's a good thing you can't stay for long because I'm bouncing out. Love you guys. Thanks for chilling with me. Thanks for, the, for all the comments and hanging out. Tomorrow is Saturday night, so we will order a pizza. Make sure to join the stream, and uh, you guys can tell me what to put on the toppings. Hopefully it's not disgusting. See you tomorrow.